from Jharkhand. My name is Prabhupada Smriti and right now I am standing inside one of the oldest monolithic caves found in India. These caves, writings and the paintings are more than 20,000 years old, as people say. Before starting, I wanted to inform you all that before coming to this place, I expected that here will be some guards to protect and preserve this place. But I found none. But I hope that after seeing this video, all of you and the other people will surely visit this place. And they will like this place. And also the authorities and the guards will protect, take care and also preserve this place. And now, first of all, I will show you the caves, all the caves. And then I will show you the writings and the paintings. Entering the cave, you can see the cave. How does it look? And it's so large. You can see some holes here in the cave. There also it is. Uh, here you can see some real religious flags of gods and some puja things kept there near the cave. As uh, I think, looking at that, that the villagers come here to do puja here. Okay. You can see some things written also. Um, here, there are some wet parts because there was a small stream here flowing. But it has dried up because the government has cemented a place. Uh, that I will show you later. But see, the you can see the cave is ending there. You can see some trees doing here. That is the first entrance. And here is the second entrance. Here you can see. And there is the third entrance. This is a big entrance of the cave. There I saw that the stream had dried, but here I found uh, some water. So now people say that here the water is very clean and cold always in the cave. So yes, uh, I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it if it's very clean for drinking. Here I've brought the glass. You can see it. So I'm going to take the water. Oops. Let me go. Wow, it looks clean. Yes, I think I should drink it now. <gasps> As if I'm drinking the natural water of the god without filtering it. Here, I'm going. I'm collecting the 
water from the stream here. So here is the water testing meter and I will test the water from this. I am sitting it on. Let me see. Hey, you see. It's just 94. See that? See, see? Only 94. And here, the people were saying that the water is very cold and clean and it's true. Yes, it's true as I tested it with the water testing meter. Uh, then, I showed you the two tunnels. Uh, they are not explored yet, but these tunnels are going to the other side, in another cave. It is connecting towards that. Now, I am outside the cave and there you can see the exit of the cave from where I came out and now I am going to show you the writings and the paintings. I have reached the place where there are writings and the paintings. Here you can see I am showing you the first painting. There are so many beautiful designs here. Uh, like circles and diamond designs. But till now no one knows the meaning of these paintings and it has not been deciphered yet. Uh, here circles, then there you can see the square. Now I am showing you the next painting. Oh, here it is down. Here you can see. Then, so beautiful and wonderful designs. Uh, here also something is drawn. Some beautiful design. Here. Hmm. Here. Then here. There also. Here also you can see. I can't see. I don't understand what is written here. What they have made and why they have made. But it's looking beautiful. Like here is the sun design. Then here is something like a vase. Oh. Uh, then here also something is written. Oh. Here. Above also something is drawn, something like a square here, but uh, I cannot see. I'm showing you the third painting here. Uh, here you can see a bird-like design, like a neck and here something like wings and its legs. Um, then here also something is drawn. Uh, here, then here also. They have made many lines. And it's exciting. Okay. Uh, now. So now I am going to show you the fourth painting. Oh, it's just filled with so many paintings. Here you can see a rectangle filled with triangle designs. This one. Here something is drawn. Here also. Up also something is drawn. But I am not understanding what they have drawn. Uh, here it looks like the sea waves. Up here. Uh, huh. Here you can see the circle. I think it's some. it is a sign of something. And here two lines. Up also there is a line. And above also there is a large drawing. Mm. 
A human like drawing up. Um, and here also there are some paintings and writings, but it has been destroyed, so we can not see the paintings very clearly. And oops, huh. here you can see the paintings. And it has been destroyed, this, so you cannot see it clearly. But I think that uh, when people will watch this video, they will visit this place, see the paintings, and they will like it. And then uh, I think, and I hope that the authorities and the guards will also try to preserve and take care of this place and the paintings. There was a stream flowing here, but it has been cemented by the government, so you cannot see the stream. It is so sad. And uh, you cannot dig inside also to see what is inside. It's evening now and the sun is going to set. So now I am going home. But in other videos, I will try to show you all the caves. And, uh, and uh, I think that all of you will visit this place and like this place very much. So bye for now. I have reached home. And when I saw the video, I saw that I have not mentioned the location. So here it is. This place is 80 kilometers from Rachi. Uh, near Isco village, so it is called as Isco Caves. The paintings that we have seen are geometrical designs and similar paintings have been found in Europe and in a few places in India. The meaning of these designs are not clear yet, so use your imagination and enjoy. And if you like this video, please subscribe and share my video and help me to save this place. Thank you.